Today I'm going to try something that I have never tried before. I really wanted to do a French manicure this week and I was debating whether I wanted to do the white French tip wraps that I love that are classy and always perfect or the black French tips that came back with the new catalog. Um, but I'm going to a wedding tonight and my dress is kind of blue and aqua so I thought why don't I try to do a French manicure with lacquer. That's been difficult for me before, but I found a new way to try it, so I'm, I'm going to do that today. And I'm going to use a, the April ColourPop April Showers, and this color exactly matches my dress, and so I think this is going to be perfect time to try this new method. Let's get to it. I have already prepped my nails by cleaning them, trimming them, filing them, and buffing them, so I'm ready to get right to painting. I just need a few things to do this. I'm gonna use the color that I want my tips to be. If you wanna do traditional French tips, you can use white or you can use any kind of fun color. Um, and then I'm going to need a top coat. I'm just gonna use a um, regular lacquer top coat today. If I wanted to make my French manicure last longer, then I could use the Color Cure top coat that's hopefully coming back from vacation soon, or I could do the True Shine gel um, base and top coat over my color to give a really strong finish but I think I'm going to want to mix it up in a few more days so I'm just going to use a regular top coat this is the quick dry top coat and then I also have my perfectionist pen with me for any little mistakes I really love this thing I've, I keep it handy whenever I use um, lacquer now and then one more thing that we need are little reinforcement circles. Yes, these are the school supplies, and we are going to use them to try to get a perfect uh, edge for our French manicure. So I am going to go ahead and take um, these circles and then line them up on my fingernail. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want the, um, the color to start on my nail, and I'll put the little circle down as even as I can kind of like that smooth it down so I don't have any any bubbles on the front edge there and then I'm going to try to keep it even across all of my fingers so that I have the same length from the front of the little reinforcement circle to the tip of my nail so I'll do that I'll be back in a second Okay, so I have my reinforcers down on my nails. You can see that I've tried to keep a pretty even space between the front of the reinforcer to the tip of my nails. Um, really take your time with this step placing those circles because it's, it's ultimately going to determine how even your, um, your color looks at the end. So try to also make sure there's no little bubbles in it. I use the flat side of my metal cuticle spoon to kind of flatten them out onto my nails. So I had a really good seal because I don't want any of the lacquer leaking underneath it. So I'll get my color ready here. Wipe it off. We don't want it to be too gloppy. Um, just like any other time we paint our nails, doing multiple thin coats is going to be a better idea than trying to glob it on in a thick coat. Okay, so I can, if I created a good seal, I should be able to overlap the reinforcer a little bit so that I get a clean line when I end up peeling it up. I'm gonna go down the tips of my, my nails. I'm gonna cap, cap the top like that. So I've got good color over the top. Try to get all the way down to the corners. I'll just do a couple here to show you. Let me try to get up closer. Just kind of overlapping that reinforcer a little bit, being really careful on the corners 
because it's a little harder to get a good seal um, with the reinforcer on the corners. Cap the tip. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Pointer and middle finger there. And it's gonna take a couple coats, just like when you paint your nails. First coat is done. Already looking pretty cool. I can kinda, I can envision it. So I'm going to let these dry. And then I will add on another coat, maybe two more thin coats until that color is um, perfectly opaque, just how I like it. And then we'll come back to peel off the reinforcers and for the big reveal to see how it looks. So I have already peeled off a few of the reinforcers to reveal my French manicure and looking pretty darn good for me painting my own French manicure. I do not have any training in painting my nails. I just do this for fun. So this is pretty cool to me. Um, so this is what I did to peel off the um, reinforcer. I just kind of loosened up the back a little bit and then tried to really carefully peel it along that line. I will say that, um, not surprisingly, this the adhesive on these is not super friendly for your nails. Um, I do see just a, like a little bit of marks where they were, but they're not designed for nails, so I'm not surprised. Um, and there, they did bleed under just a tiny bit in a few spots, but I have my perfectionist pen, so I'm just going to kind of run that along my line where it bled under just to kind of clean it up a little bit. The perfectionist pen, the tip, it isn't super wet. It's wet enough to do exactly what you want it to do, but not so wet that it's going to leak onto the rest of your polish that you want to stay. So I can just really carefully, and it's pointed. Can you see, I've got, yeah, you can see it pointed there. So I can really control where it goes and clean up just what I want to. And I already used that on my skin around, um, on my skin on the sides where I painted too. Okay, that one looks pretty good. So, there we go. How about that? I'm pretty happy with it. So all I need to do now is I need to let them completely dry. They were almost dry when I did that. And then all I have to do is cover it with a top coat. Um, definitely wait till they're all the way dry before you do that because you don't want to smear um, up into the non-painted part. So here is the final look. I ended up doing the Color Cure top coat instead of the lacquer top coat just because I'm running out of time to get ready. I need to go um, and the Color Cure cures instantly so this is dry. Um, I, I really like the effect. I say it's not really as um, neat and clean of a look um, and line as if you had done the nail wrap with the white tip or the black tip, but this method lets you pick whatever color you'd like to do for your manicure and is a lot easier to freehand. I cannot freehand such an even line by myself. Um, again, this is the color pop. I'm, I'm in the middle of doing the right hand here, but this is our color pop April showers in a French manicure look. Thanks for joining me.